Hey guys, this is Mike, the HVAC Reefer Guy, and I'm coming to you from my home in Phoenix, Arizona. I've been eyeballing this, uh, this ice box. This is a solid oak ice box from the Gurney Company up in Wisconsin. It was built in the early 1900s, most likely because of the amount of decorations, meaning the decorative woodwork and the engraved trim that's down below and here on top. It was probably in somebody's home that had a lot of money during the day. I collect ice boxes like this and I'm always on the hunt for one. And uh, I have some that are very plain oak with uh, pine and they do not have this decorative trim. So it's most likely those uh, ice boxes were used in very common homes but this one was a very upscale ice box. So most ice boxes have the lid that will open up. In this case, a lid opens up and it says right here, what I like about this one, instructions for the housekeeper. The housekeeper meaning maybe the homeowner or maybe a maid or a servant. Inside, is a spot right here. This actually lifts out. Um, if I had a partner here to help me, but this would lift out for cleaning. You can see that this lifts out. Ice would be filled up on top in blocks of ice. You'd get big ice tongs or have ice delivered. And ice tongs, they would, they would lower the blocks of ice down on the inside. And up underneath here, there are louvers. I'll try to maybe get in there. It's not louvers, but you can kind of see maybe up underneath there that there is holes and there's an opening where the cold air will push down over the top and create a convection. Um, and here, we'll open this up. The homeowner before me, um, the person who owned this before me, made uh, oh, see right there this is kind of cool these are wheels these are wheels that were on the ice box but check them out the solid wood they didn't have plastic or steel back there and so these actually went into the legs and the legs itself so it's kind of a cool design but that's those are wooden wheels so the cold air would come up underneath come underneath these these louvers that's that tray Here's the condensate drain line. We go down into this piece right here. You can see it right there. And it would drip down and go down into the bottom down here. And underneath the bottom is another tube. And that tube would go into a pan, a condensate pan. The cold air would drop down out of the bottom from up here and circle down, or not circle, but push down through these openings and create a convection and then the warm air would come up through these old holes, basically like a return air grill, would come up through these holes, cold air, the warm air would then go in, cold air would push down, and it would create a, a constant air movement, a constant air flow. So this is an ice box. Uh, it's in a solid oak ice box, made by the Gurney Corporation in Wisconsin. Beautiful details on that handle. And again, I collect these. I hope you enjoyed this little tour, a little refrigeration tour of refrigeration history and where refrigeration started by using blocks of ice. Work safe, be safe. Be good humans, and we'll see you next time.